you can always go ahead and uh, you know try out your hands at uh, the share of the future so uh, okay before this also this sort of an attack was possible using an XSS shell or an XSS proxy or all of these things so what is so again HTML5 specific about it again the most important part about HTML5 is making things standardized so earlier there were workarounds there were things to bypass different features uh, but there was no standards now given the standards that HTML5 has given the standard specification that is implemented by the different being implemented by the different browsers uh, it becomes a lot easier to abuse the functionality as it also becomes easier to uh, use it. So it always depends on the you know the, the mindset that developer has to uh, make use of uh, a responsible use of the features. So that is the particular tool that I was talking about. You can always go and refer back to the uh, link provided where you can actually get uh, a hands-on uh, demo experience on this particular tool and you would actually be able to control the entire uh, browser session of the victim from your remotely from your browser so and that's the reason it will be known as it, it's called a reverse web shell so given uh, I, I already mentioned about one of the important features that you should always take care of that is not allowing any domain uh, to be able to access you know features on the other uh, on the other domain and apart from this uh, there are a lot of uh, other uh, uh, important uh, features that should that you should be taking care of. So, for example, you should always validate the URLs that are being passed to the XHR request the dot open method. So, you know, if you are passing uh, any any domain, if you are not even sure of the domain, if you are passing it as the open into the open method, you are not really sure what that particular domain or that uh, the page in that domain might just uh, you know uh, have an effect, as we saw in the case of uh, reverse web shell. And then uh, you should always take uh, very special care on allowing you know access control allow credentials. Uh, you should you should not always make it true. You should always uh, you know always make use of uh, the uh, a whitelisting approach rather than having a blacklisting approach because uh, uh, that that makes it uh, more secure. You should always allow only trusted domains in the access control allow origin header as mentioned earlier. You should not always allow star or you know any domain that you think would be uh, that could have any malicious trace, uh, malicious stance, you should not uh, really allow it in the access control law origin header. And then you have a lot of other features that go along with uh, uh, course uh, 2, uh, course uh, specification XHR2 uh, specification. So to understand them, you'll have to understand the entire XHR, uh, you know, the different, so the, the, the scenario, the sample scenario that I just explained you, it makes use of a very simple use case of XHR2 and of course where you don't really care about logon, you don't really care about uh, authentication or uh, you don't care about cookies uh, but then uh, XHR2 and of course has got uh, various other ways of uh, having uh, uh, things, uh, of having achieving uh, these things as well and as these features are in place you also need to take care of their, uh, of their uh, security aspects. Okay, so cause of cross origin resource sharing was was cause of cross origin resource sharing was uh, one of the ways in which you could bypass the bypass the same origin policy. And there are a lot of other different sorts of features also implemented in HTML5 uh, using which you can again uh, bypass the same origin policy. And if you would ask me why why is the different sorts of features required? We already have cores to take care of it. Uh, my answer to it would be the different use cases that you might come across. So uh, document, cross document messaging or web messaging as we call it in other terms is one, is again another such feature where you can actually communicate between two different domains altogether uh, without uh, having the same rigid policy restricting you to do so. Of course there, there are different ways of uh, uh, you know, achieving they, 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 there is a specified way of achieving it. So, uh, in which uh, the DOMs, the document object models of two different uh, uh, domains, don't really get exposed to each other. It's just a certain part of the of both the domains that talk to each other in uh, in the form of uh, message passing. So, uh, message events are generated, and uh, they just talk to each other on the on this particular uh, 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 on this particular aspect. 
So if that was one of the other uh, that was one of the other uh, APIs that has been introduced in HTML5 and that is being implemented slowly by all the different browsers and there are different attributes to this particular API the web messaging API uh, and I don't think I'll have time to cover all of it so yeah so talking of the security aspect of it again uh, you have to be careful while using the different methods that are exposed by this API for example post message uh, is one of the most important, uh, you know, most important uh, methods that are being exposed by uh, the web messaging APIs. Uh, and and the most important part is you should always be careful, and you should be you sh you should you should always carefully check to ensure that the messages they are uh, always allowed between two domains that are allowed by each other. Otherwise, uh, some domain can just you know push in messages that are not required. So you could uh, you could always refer back to these slides because I guess I am running short of time. So you can always come back and you know you can always refer to the slides to get a better understanding of uh, uh, of the different APIs and there are also a lot of reference material or uh, refer reference uh, uh, links that have been mentioned uh, which you can always go and look up. Okay, a very quick uh, cover. I'll.